What's going on guys? It's Thursday and I'm back to help you win another Forza Horizon 5 trial event. We're kicking off a new series called Horizon Retro Wave and uh, the first trial event of this series is called Countach for more. It is a road racing event for retro supercars tuned to S1 spec. Overall I kind of like the aesthetic of this new update, yeah, especially like the intro. It's kind of that like 80s feel to it. You got the neon around the Horizon Festival and all that. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm kind of excited to see and curious to see where it goes, but uh, this trial event, like I mentioned before, retro supercars tuned to S1 spec. The car I decided to use is probably not a surprise to anybody who has watched my videos before. That is a 2005 Ford GT, the tune made for it. I'll show it on screen right now. It is called Road Racing V3. I'll also show the share code. Uh, I've made a few tunes for this car, most notably my Horizon Champ one that was really competitive in uh, Horizon Open Custom Racing for quite a while. This one, uh, I've done quite a few changes to it, and I think overall it would be better than that tune, so I might end up making another Horizon Open video with this car. I'm not sure how it stacks up with all the cars that have been added, but I'm sure it's going to be pretty competitive. Uh, it definitely fits the bill for this event. Um, I, I will tell you right now, uh, I know in the past I have recommended full slick racing tires, like way back when, but they're really not very good in this game. Uh, the performance gain you get from that versus a semi-slick tire is very negligible and it's not worth the like point increase at all. Uh, I think the only time the like full slick racing tires are going to be really useful would be like maybe like S2 standard sure or X or something like that uh, or the cars that come with like the full slick racing tires by default that are way more grippy and way more uh, just performance oriented than, than the stock. Than the, than the regular uh, full slicks you can get for any car. Like uh, that 4GT Le Mans that came out a couple weeks ago, that thing, it has the full slick racing tires by default and they're really good. They're a lot better than the ones that you can get for like uh, the 2005 4GT. So I would not recommend using the full slick racing tires under pretty much any circumstances. To me, it's just like using on the for dirt racing or, or so, you probably would never need to use the rally tires. Uh, instead of like the off-road tires. Off-road tires I think are better and the points cost are is, is much lower. So I definitely would not recommend using uh, full slick racing tires. Stick with the semi-slicks. They're gonna be better more or less and they uh, don't cost as much in the, in the PI points category. And then for dirt racing, I would always recommend using off-road tires if you can, not rally tires because they're not worth it. Uh, anyway, but aside from that, uh, the car, I kept the stock engine in it. I think it performs really well. Uh, one thing I've, I've noticed quite a while back, but uh, for some reason this game, it says the Ford GT, the 2005 one, is uh, has twin turbo chargers, which is not true. It was actually a supercharged V8, so I don't know if they got it confused with the newer one, which has the twin turbo V6. I don't know. And you can kind of, if you go to Forza Vista, you can't like open the hood on it in the back for, for the engine to see it. But you can kind of look down in there and see a little bit of it. You can see the supercharger, so it's just kind of... I don't know why they haven't really fixed that, or if they even really can, but it's just kind of silly that they make it a twin turbo instead of a supercharger. And they don't give you the option to put a supercharger on either for the aspiration conversion, but uh, it still performs well. Uh, I, I originally was going to use the anti-lag turbo system on it, but honestly, it's, it gets annoying. It really does, the sound of it. It's just kind of, especially in road racing, it's just kind of annoying. It's not. I mean, you do get a little bit of a benefit, uh, especially on like the launch. You kind of take off a little bit better, but overall, the... Just annoyance factor of the anti-lag system. I didn't want to use it. So I used the regular race turbo for those uh, twin turbos and um, semi-slick racing tires. Like I said, I used both pieces of aero to in the way I like it and upgraded the engine actually and everything uh, quite a lot actually. But it's very competitive for S1. There's not really a whole lot of downside to this car. I think it's very good for this event and it's very good for S1 racing as a whole. Uh, if you, I definitely recommend uh, practicing the races you're going to be. Uh, doing today in the trial event beforehand kind of get get a feel for where you need to break and when you can push through a corner not have to break or let off the gas at all kind of get used to everything but if you get that all ironed out this car is very good uh it gets up and going pretty well you're probably going to have one of the faster vehicles nobody on my team really had anything fast at all i only had a couple of guys i think they even had like 900 uh actually pushed up to 900 on their builds, but either way, they didn't have anything else really fast enough that can keep up with me at all either. And uh, with the with the speed being pretty good, you're not really sacrificing a whole lot of handling either. This car does handle very well. I think overall, if you use it, you will be uh, pretty successful. I think you will like it. 
If you did not use this car, don't plan on using it. Let me know down in the comments what car you decide to use. And if you use a different Ford GT2, let me know how that one uh, turned out for you as well. I'd love to know about it. People might do things a lot differently than the way I would do it, and that's cool. I'd love to see how it works for you, because what I said this many times in these videos, what works for me might not work for you, but I'm just showing you guys what works for me and uh, how you can have a pretty competitive uh, event car for these for these trials every week. So uh, other than that, leave a like on this video to help you out. Subscribe for more videos like this. Enjoy this retro wave theme we got going on for this series, and I'll see you next week for another trial event.